basically holding a car. <laughs> there is four GPUs! Hi there! What a wonderful time for you to drop by. HP Z8 Fury is an absolute beast of a system. It's easily the fastest, most insane computer that I've been able to use yet. There is four GPUs. It's the type of computer, like Linus Tech Tips say, that you max out online, drool over, but never can actually get because money. Huh? I mean, each of the GPUs inside of this thing are almost $5,000 each on their own, and there's four of them. So normally, I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a system like this, but thanks to HP partnering with this episode, we're gonna be able to take a look at just how fast this monster is. <laughs> So I've loaded the HP Fury with Blender, Cinema 4D, Premiere, and After Effects, and I'm gonna put this head to head with my current computer, which is already a beast on its own. But even with how fast my current system is, I have no doubt that it's gonna lose every battle. But the question is, by how much? Because I mean, you know, four GPUs. There is four GPUs! So I have the HP Fury right here on the desk, right here and I have my computer set up on this monitor, my current computer, which is also an absolute beast of a machine. And I have a Blender project set up on both. It's something you could get from free from their website. It's the exact same setting on both computers. Of course, this is gonna utilize the multiple GPUs inside of the Fury, whereas this system only has a single GPU. So I'm very excited to see how much of a difference we're gonna get from this one. So I'm gonna click render on both computers at the exact same time and see what we Get. My system has already, I'm already seeing it's actually doing its work on its image, but my guess is while this might take a little longer to actually set up and get going, once this gets going, I think it's gonna destroy this one. All right, now this one is going and yep, it jumped to a remaining time of 40 seconds while my computer has a remaining time of three and a half minutes. And that's it, the HP is done while my system still has two minutes and 55 seconds left to go. So that's almost three minutes faster. And that's on one single frame. If this was an animation, that's 24 frames per second. So if you were just doing 10 seconds, that is an insane amount of time to save on a render with something like this. So second Blender test, I got another scene from the Blender site. Again, this one is a classroom. So I'm gonna hit render on both again. This one got started a little sooner than this one, but, and this one's already, it's basically almost done. It's done, oh my God, it's done in seven and a half seconds. And this one is going to take a little bit longer here, not that much longer and it's done. So seven seconds versus 23 seconds. So again, this is just lightning fast. Mm -hmm. Even though I was expecting the HP Fury to beat my computer by a lot, I'm still shocked at how much faster this is rendering. And next up is Cinema 4D, but before we try that out, let's take a tour around this thing. First off, I mean, it looks great, really sleek. Up front, we have a headphone mic jack, two USB-A, two USB-C, and an SD card reader. Down here with these panels, you have space for hot swappable NVMe drives, so you can pop those out and take them with you for security if that's something that you need. Back here, we have dual power supplies, which are hot swappable. So while the system is on, I can pull this right out and replace if needed. And this actually came in handy while I was testing it. My UPS that I had the system plugged into tripped, and it would have shut the system down, losing my work in the process, but I did have the second power supply plugged directly into an outlet, so I was all good, and I kind of love that. Then you have all the ports that you'd think, and the ability to plug in every monitor the world has ever made, and 10 gigabit ethernet for, you know, speed. Honestly, we're all just bursting with excitement about this brilliant new performer. All right, so next up, I have Cinema 4D on both computers, and then again, put the exact same project on both computers with no difference whatsoever, all the same settings, and we'll hit render on both at the same time again. And it's done in 51 seconds, and this one is about halfway there, I feel like. And it's done. So in a minute and 46, 
with 51 seconds here. Again, that that's a huge difference. But of course, it's because this one has, you know, four GPUs. There is four GPUs. I keep geeking out about the four GPUs, so let's take a tour inside of this beast. There's something about that guy's tone of voice I don't like. Of course, we have the four RTX A6000 GPUs, each with 48 gigabytes of memory. And with that alone, this is bound to get crazy hot. So they have a smart fan control system that measures the temp in 20 places. And it's designed to stay nicely sealed to maximize that cooling and airflow. This one has the Xeon W3400 CPU with up to 56 cores, and that can support up to two terabytes of RAM, which is bonkers. And I mean, while I love tech, I am admittedly more of a creative, so I really only know enough about all this to drool over the four GPUs. So there's plenty of additional and impressive sounding stats, but to me, it all sounds a bit like an adult talking in a Snoopy cartoon. Yes, ma'am. I know all of it means faster, better, but what really matters to me is how it works in the real world. Next up is an After Effects test, and I wanted to see what the export time would be. So it is using Media Encoder Dynamic Link 2 After Effects. It's an After Effects project we did for a virtual production episode a little while back. So I have both projects on both computers. Again, all the exact same settings, even the export settings are the exact same. I'm gonna hit enter at the exact same time and see what we get. And it's just about done. So this one's finishing up and done. And this one still has 30 seconds left to go. So not a huge difference between the two here. Still much faster here. You're working with Adobe products that don't utilize multiple GPUs as well as some other things, but you still are getting a nice bit of difference there with a pretty beefy file. Now I have Premiere open on both computers. Again, same exact project on both computers. This is a 15 minute episode. Again, just built out with all kinds of nested comps and effects on it. So once again, hitting export on both. All right, so this one just hit 100% and is finishing while this one still has over a minute left. And again, pointing out that my computer is a really beefy system. So the fact that this one is beating this computer by as much as it is, is really impressive. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a computer analyst. Overall, I'm very impressed with this thing. Unreal Engine runs like a dream on it. All software opens lightning fast. Everything feels buttery smooth, especially any kind of rendering in Premiere or After Effects, and especially things that really take more advantage of multiple GPUs like Blender. And I'd imagine DaVinci Resolve, which I wasn't able to test this time around, but I am itching to. Sadly, I will have to say a tearful goodbye to this gorgeous piece of tech. And while the price tag is out of reach for most of us, if you could swing it, the insane speed increase you get is worth the price tag for serious pros, in my opinion. I'd imagine that means post houses and the like, but man, I, I want this now. To dive into more details about the system, check out the link below. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.